Hello, everybody, and welcome to Backpack Battles. I'm Heron Steinbear, and today we're jumping into a ranger playthrough. We had a viewer request a woodland creature build, and it's been quite a while since I did one. So we're definitely going to jump in and get that going for you guys. Uh, you know what? I may actually, though, do Tusk Poker instead of the wooden buckler there. Grab in on sale banana as well. And see what we can do here. Going up against Baru. Hopefully we can kill him before his poison catches up to us. Or there, I should say. Their poison catches up to us. And we did, of course. All right. So, yeah, Tusk Poker. I don't think I've ever showed it off on the stream. But it does have a 50% chance to gain spikes. 2 to 3 damage. 0.7 stamina cost. 1.7 cooldown. So, pretty good utility weapon here early on. Grab the whetstone to get a little bit more damage out of each of them and hmm we grab that to speed up our banana a little bit and whatever else we need well yeah we'll just get started i was thinking about buying the piggy but it's fine it's fine ultimately i mean it would have been cost effective for sure because it's on sale but we don't uh we didn't have the money for it right then so it's fine it's not a big deal Still got the win over the Pyromancer there. Win number two. And I will go ahead and buy that now. And what else we got? Another haste bag and another whetstone. Okay, well, we're going to have to do that. There. There. And I can buy you. Bring you up top. And just put that there so we can get our spike shield put together and get started so yeah that'll give us our hero sword we'll have a spike shield we already got tusk poker so that's great and yeah doing great damage with it took out that berserker no problem bam all right cool so we got tusk poker with the damage bonus from the hero sword we'll grab another clover well Maybe I don't want another clover. We are going with the woodland creatures uh, build. So let's take a look at what we're looking at here. So we're gonna we're gonna want food because the uh, food triggers will fa will happen faster with the bowls of treats. The Pets themselves also trigger faster with food. So we're going to want to keep an eye out for food stuff. Um, and then the pets all have a chance to activate twice. So it's going to steal buffs. That's going to deal poison. That's going to increase our spikes. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're definitely going to want to like take the garlic there. But I don't think we necessarily need like a bunch of luck because those don't have accuracy. They just happen. So yeah, we don't really need to worry about luck. Uh, accuracy is pretty good on those. So I'm not going to worry about that clover. We'll take another one of those. And then we can even hold on to that garlic and uh, slot it in there as well. All right, let's see if we can take out Janderson. They have a short bow, but no Tusk Piercer. They do have a little bit more food than me, and plus their armor. But it did not seem to be enough to stop the poking. We poked the shit out of them. All right. Um, if Goober didn't take up so much room, I would probably take him. I'm going to grab the sand just because it's on sale. And lump of lump of coal uh, again because it's essentially free. Two bag there, and definitely want to save. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna sell the coal back out, and then we can put you there. So again, building up our stock of treats for our woodland friends before we get to that subclass round, and uh, really just trying to make sure we keep winning until then. Uh, Tusk Poker doing great work with that. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a win for us. 
big old win with seven spikes. Love it. Um, hmm, almost like whetstone might not be the worst idea to keep the love going with the, uh, well, we're getting into subclass next round, really. And again, uh, I don't think, I think these specify weapons, right? So these are not categorized as weapons, so it probably will not help them. So for that wet matter, or for that reason, I'm not going to worry about the whetstone. I will, however, very much worry about a pineapple. Uh, we cannot take them both, so we are going to have to sell our sand. But I want to take the pineapple and the uh, haste bag there. So that we can get some quick activations with that. Get it started. Gotta love it. All right. Slowing things down here a little bit so we can watch this Pyromancer uh, spike themselves up. Uh, unfortunately, if we go up against somebody that clears spikes, uh, like a Ripsaw, which I honestly haven't seen a ton lately, then we're going to be in trouble. Um, this honestly would as well be a really good Poison Ivy build. Uh, but again, we're going for Woodland Friends this time. Okay, um, I mean, might as well just keep taking haste bags if they're going to keep giving them to me, right? And that would have been my second whetstone to make the hero longsword. We don't really need it. It's not like, uh, not like it's a huge deal or anything. Probably put that there, get some more food. I'm going to save that next three gold because we're going to have our subclass round coming up next uh this could be a scary one with that steel goober they scale scale things pretty quickly uh we are building up spikes really well but yeah those steel gooberts are pretty nutty yeah not enough not enough to keep the win but that's okay it's subclass round so we get that heart back immediately go ahead and grab our bowl of treats throw that into our bag Get a couple re-rolls under our belt. I think I want to move that there so we get it between all of them. Uh, that will make all of those foods uh, trigger quicker. Uh, and you know what? Honestly, I think I want to swap. Do something like that. Uh, so it even. So I'm speeding up the pineapple instead of the blueberry since I'm not using mana. Uh, I will grab another carrot. And then see what we can find for Woodland Friends. No Woodland Friends, huh? Okay. Well, not a huge deal. Go ahead and put that there and that down there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we got a double axe and a steel goober. Those are going to uh, really fuck our shit up. Uh, the brass knuckles are going to keep us stunned. So we're not going to be able to attack very much. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a scary one to go up against there. 37 to 43, and they were stunning us the whole time. Oof. That is rough. All right, come on. Give us some woodland creatures. We got a squirrel. We can steal some buffs. Uh, and we get a cheap thing there. Does this... Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, so I could probably put you like that to you there and throw my squirrel in there and definitely want to buy that pineapple. Uh, and I think it goes like that. Well, maybe not. Uh, it probably goes like that. Maybe like that. There we go. Yeah, okay. Uh, so the squirrel should be activating pretty quickly. It'll uh, be stealing buffs from the enemy. So that heat is ours now, Pyromancer. Thank you very much. I will be having that for myself. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. Uh, more creatures, please. More woodland creatures. 
throw you there. Do that. Uh, or wait, actually. Do that. Uh, I do want to throw you there. Five damage, 70% chance to inflict a poison, and 10% chance to inflict a blind. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love the idea of that. That sounds, all of that sounds super cool. Uh, I will go ahead and put you there to speed some stuffs up. Actually, I can do that like that. Like that. There we go. Speeds him up even more. You're pretty quick now. All right. Perfect. So, yeah, our rat will be going off pretty quickly, I would think. Slow it down so we can take a look. Uh, two Every two seconds, we're doing five damage with the rat. Stealing buffs so that uh, we'll be able to take all that luck to keep the Mega Clover from going off. Hopefully, anyway, we can speed it up a little bit more. Yeah, keep taking that luck. That's our luck. Uh-oh. It's taking spikes instead. We need to take the luck. That's okay. We should win this. There it is. There it is. Win number eight. Gotta love these woodland creatures. Uh, okay. Definitely taking you. Uh, and then I can... Move that there, slide everybody over, buy the stamina bag and fit the heart container in there. That'll help me stay alive a little bit more, get those extra regen points. We can slow it down so we can get a closer eye view. Uh, but yeah, we're taking all their buffs away, thanks to our squirrel. Applying a little bit of poison there, thanks to our rat. Beautiful. Ninth win. Man, we're looking pretty here. Uh, sitting pretty. By sure. By that. And then another rat, huh? Um, I mean, I definitely want him here, right? So I'm going to buy him. I need another bag, though, to store him in. Uh... You know, I could sell that and then buy you, slide you down, and then do that rat there. Or I could put that rat there. Do it like that. That's probably a good call. I'm going to save the squirrel as well for next time so we can get even more buffs taken away from our opponents here. Slowing things down. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're doing a decent amount of poison now. Kind of keeping up with the... Reaper itself, uh, granted we have some cleanse, but we're also stealing a bunch of your buffs. Ooh, their mana orbs got to activate, but that's okay. We're so far ahead, it doesn't even matter. 10th win, going into survival mode. Uh, on track for 16 wins so far. Let's see if we can make it happen. Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos, and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. Another squirrel sliding in there. Oh, and we get on sale four bag and on sale hedgehog. Let's freaking go. I'm going to throw my rat up top. Hedgehog in the middle. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to move that down. Uh, and then, oh no, I want you there. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Uh, oh, that's right. Hedgehog only has three stars. It doesn't surround itself. Uh, so, yeah, that's fine. That's good, good, good. And we can get started. Only got two gold left, so that's fine. That speeds up all that food surrounding it. Ooh, we got a dragon nest build. Let's see if our woodland creatures are stronger than their dragons. Uh, we do have a decent amount of healing, so we are staying alive. Oh, but those were some big hits from that uh, obsidian dragon. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Not enough. Not quite enough. Look at our buffs, though. So many. Uh, but still not enough. 
Uh, all right, artifact stone, heat. Um, we don't necessarily get to heat, so I think that's kind of a trap to buy that. Uh, we don't need stamina, so I'm not going to worry about that. I will move you there and then add a carrot in, because that'll help a bit. Uh, I can buy that for more bag space and then another rat. All right. Uh, so for the rat, I think maybe just slide you right in there. That should help you out with enough damage and get us a little bit more poison and potentially blind. Oof, man. Okay. Uh, lots of dragons again. These... Berenstein hair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hell yeah. You guys are awesome. Whoever this is, huge shout out. You're amazing. Berenstein bear propaganda in the field. Wow. And you're going to about to kick my ass. So, you know what? Honestly, you deserve the win. Uh, that is like, oh my God. That like makes my day right there seeing that. So, thank you for that. Whoever that is, plan is Berenstein hair. Oh my God. That's awesome. Uh, man, I am like so touched. That is amazing. Um, I'm, I'm flustered now. I don't know what to say. I've been, uh, I, I see other, other YouTubers names, people shouting them out in, in their, uh, their names on here. And I, didn't ever think it'd be me, so thank you. That was awesome. I uh, don't know what I'm doing anymore here. All right, uh, so we can speed up our squirrels a bit. Uh, I don't necessarily think the hedgehog needs much help. Um, I don't know. I'm a little worried that I'm not doing the DPS I need to do. I think that's where I'm really hurting here. Uh, so I don't I'm trying to think of how to fix that. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the animals themselves are great. The spikes are great. We just, a lot of these late game builds aren't going to rely. They aren't going to be vulnerable to spikes. People kind of have worked their way around that because spikes were so prevalent for the longest time in the demo. Uh, maybe we can do some work against some of these frost builds since we'll steal a bunch of their heat and kind of counteract the frost with that. So far, so good. I mean, that poison is stacking up. I think we might have this. Oh, big old heal there. Nice. What gave us that big heal all of a sudden? Uh, let's see. Where was that? So it was, yeah, right here. Oh, it was our heart container finally getting to seven and giving us that max HP. Yeah, that was huge. Okay, perfect. Love it. Big ol' win there. Okay. Um, So I can probably, I can move you up here. Move you there, throw you there. That gets us a little bit more space. Slide that up, leave you there, but then slide you there. You go there, you go there. You come up here. Boop, boop. I can then move you there. Uh, you there. No, definitely want that in there. Definitely want that there. I should really do that like that. And then maybe I just put this rat back up top. That can go there and that can go, no. What I'm trying to do is find room to like squeeze that in there. So maybe put that. There we go. And then I can get this here. Oop, this here. There we go. Slide you down, and we got room for our final rat. Uh, I guess you just go... 
You go there, and then the garlic goes there to speed that up. Yep, that works for me. Jumping on in. We got three rounds left, three hearts left. Let's see how we do against Chef Cock Tony. Slowed it down a little bit so we can watch it happen in real time. We are taking big amounts of poison, but look at all that in power we're gaining. Stealing everything that Tony has. Give me all of your buffs. Yeah, 33 spikes we're up to. Eight in power. Oh my God. Uh, what's our main damage dealer here? Uh, 117 96 for the hedgehog. I mean, it's not a ton of damage. Uh, it's just like it's so much interrupt with what the enemy's doing. Uh, especially right now, there's so many buff builds in the meta that it's uh makes a huge difference. Grab the healing herb so we can get a little bit more regeneration, just get us closer to getting that max HP there. Um, but honestly, I don't know what I even would take here going forward. I'm kind of happy where we're at. Could maybe take like Jinx Torquia. Um, but yeah, I think we're good with everything else. I mean, just guess I'll just go ahead and start. I got two rounds left, but I kind of like what I'm working with. Uh, we'll slow it down. These cheese Excalibur builds are hard to chew through, but I mean, we're doing good so far. Let's see if we can take them out. Uh, we got, I mean, we're still close to full health, 400 health left, but they're coming back strong. Poison's building up on them. Fatigue is taking them down. Oh my God, look at all our buffs. We're at 24 in power. Holy shit. Doing 27 damage with a hero sword, 28 to 29 with the tusk poker. Oh my god, we were just stealing all that in power that they were getting from all of their stuff. Oh, that's so good. So good. Look at that. Oh my god. I mean, damage wise, Spike's pulling being the hero there with 293. Hero Sword 269. Tusk Poker 211. 200 damage and poison. 165 with Hedgehog. So, I mean, what are we at? We're at 300. Call it 600. Eight. A thousand. Over, over a thousand damage in that fight we dealt. Uh, wow. 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 That was a huge fight. Love that one. That was great. Oh, I am a believer in the animals. And you know what? I'm so much of a believer. I know what I'm doing. We're not buying anything. We're going into the last round with 28 gold. We don't even need it. Get out of here with your clover build. We're taking your clovers. Those are my clovers. You can't have them. Give me those clovers. Give me every single one you got. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They are taking us out. This is getting scary. Oh no, Steel Goobert is scaling. Damn. All right. Well, we kept their clover from working, but Steel Goobert is going to scale. Steel Goobert, he still uh, buffs the shit out of Fortuna's Grace. We didn't have quite enough damage reduction and healing to survive that, but man, that was a fun run. I love that one. Hopefully, you did as well. Uh, Got to try out these Woodland Creatures builds if you haven't. I mean, really, just throw a bunch of them in the bag with a bunch of food. That's really all it takes. Um, you know, this isn't too complicated. Got me 13 wins there and uh, did, did a ton of damage. So definitely enjoyed this one. Hopefully you did as well. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe. I put out a new video every single day, so there's always something to watch. If you have any comments on this build or any other builds you'd like to see me try, Please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you are Berenstein Hare, please let me know in the comments that that was you. I loved seeing you. That's awesome. Uh, so thank you again for that. 
Uh, if you want to interact further with the Heronstein Bear community, you can click the link down in the description to get access to our member exclusive Discord, early access to every video I post, and at our highest tier, a shout out in every single one of my videos. Like Jacob Burns, thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. To everyone else out there who's been liking, watching, commenting, and subscribing, you're awesome as well. So thank you. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you then. Bye.